Um, there are so many different ways of encoding and decoding information. One of them will work. Uh, probably we'll be able just to use the, uh, the auto thing that CyberChef has. Uh, to get this one to work. So let's clear the recipe. Let's get rid of our input. And let's do this bake thing. Uh, and there we go. Okay, solved. Uh, yeah, this one wasn't really worth commenting that much on. There we go. Uh, these websites require authentication via post. However, it seems as if someone has defaced our site. Maybe these is still, a, maybe this is still a way to authenticate. All right. We're going to change this to post. Uh, URL is this. We'll send this, uh, Okay, so um, as you can see here, uh, what we did was we dropped in uh, the URL up there at the top, the HTTP 165 number. We changed it to post. Um, what comes back here is it says this site takes post data that you've not submitted. But over here in the comments, we've got a username and then we've got a password here. Username admin uh come on how many <laughs> how many times have i like typed this stuff today uh let's take this one let's copy uh, over here uh let's do this and guess what Ugh. Huh, we haven't done any of these yet okay uh, okay, cool. We've got an APK. Does anyone know what APK stands for? Anyone? APK. Let's download this thing. We now have an APK. Um, it says this is a simple one. Reverse engineer the logic, recreate the flag, and submit. Uh, we'll just take one of these that's already online so we don't have to do as much work. Uh, we're going to choose file. We're going to pick the APK there. Uh, upload and decompile. All right. Okay. So properties here on block apply. Okay. We're going to take this one. We're going to extract it. Extract from the source. Oh, wow. This is big. Yeah. I saw a man. Uh, I saw the manifest. The manifest is right here. Uh, we can take this one. We can open it with code. That was, that's very, very smart. Um, because right here we can see um, the com example, second app dot main activity. Android allow backup. Okay. Com. Okay, there we go. Main activity. So now let's go here. Sources, com. Example, second app, main activity. We're going to also use code here. If it equals, oh, okay. So we could take this text out right here. Uh, we could copy this right here. Uh, and then we see there's two things here, find view by ID. So this is an MD5 right here. What does the code do after verifying the input? Uh, it just gives you like a success or not. So uh, back over here, it says, uh, um, yeah, over here it says, um, yeah, if it's the, if it's correct, then CTF learn, and then it spits that out. Uh, and it does a two string and CTF learn is not secure. Oh, it adds this to it. Ah, so spring 2019 underscore is not secure. Is that totally it? Did I miss it this whole time? 
So could I go in here and now just do the control V? <laughs> okay, so we just dropped in this text to run this through and we could see right here there was this flag. Flag, you have the brute force XOR. This right here. Oh, I don't think I needed that. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Let's go submit. And we're going to hit view here. It says, do you remember uh, something known as a QR code? Simple here for you. Yes, I do remember QR codes. Let me ask you though, did anybody actually like use QR codes? So uh, I was looking to see what text was inside of that. And I just thought I'd just use my phone. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit this button. I'm going to hit download. Uh, we're going to come over here to our trusty uh, cyber chef thing. Uh, we're going to open a file. Uh, we just downloaded it. Uh, so there it is. You think it's uh, you think it's like a rot 13? One of these things. <laughs> uh, CTF learn nobody forget QR code. We don't need any of that. All we need is uh, you just coming in enjoying your time here. That's all I've asked of anybody. Take care. You have a great uh, afternoon night. Appreciate all of you. And until next time, bye bye.